As with food chains, food webs indicate the path of energy movement with arrows. Each step of energy transfer is called a trophic level. Remember that troph means feed. Trophic levels classify feeding relationships according to energy transfer. Trophic levels start with producers at trophic level 1, or T1. Then each arrow indicates a higher trophic level. Primary consumers are trophic level 2. Secondary consumers are level 3. Tertiary consumers are level 4, and quaternary consumers are level 5. Food chains and food webs usually don't include more than five levels. Find out more about food webs and energy transfer with a short video. Most species of living things, including all animals, are unable to carry out photosynthesis to make their own food. This means they must eat in order to obtain the energy they need. Living things feed on one another. As a result, in the living world, energy and matter are passed along through what are called food chains of organisms. The first link in any food chain are the food producers. They are photosynthetic organisms like plants. These organisms are able to produce food in the form of energy-rich glucose from non-living matter. The second link in a food chain are the primary consumers. They eat plants or other photosynthetic organisms. In this way, both energy and matter begin to move up the food chain. Next are the secondary consumers. They eat the primary consumers. Oftentimes birds, like these, are secondary consumers because they eat insects and other organisms that live on a diet of plants. Then come the tertiary consumers, who eat the secondary consumers. Tertiary consumers are often large meat-eating animals, like this alligator. The final link in a food chain are the decomposers. They are organisms such as fungi and bacteria like these. Decomposers cause decay. They break down dead materials and turn them into nutrients for the food producers.